Lazio, the best club team I ever managed in my life. Sven and Lazio, a match made in heaven. Lazio had been waiting a long time to claim the Scudetto. The last time they'd captured the Serie A title was back in 1974. By the mid-90s, however, things were starting to fall into place for the Bianco Celesti. When high-profile businessman Sergio Cragnotti became president of Lazio in 1992, he would invest heavily in rebuilding the squad, adding big names like English superstar Paul Gascoigne in an attempt to claim the title. Lazio came tantalizingly close, finishing runners-up in 1995, third in 96, and fourth in 1997. Their luck was to turn with the arrival of a bespectacled Swedish manager called Sven Joran Eriksson. Eriksson arrived at Lazio in July of 1997, having previously won Coppa Italias with Roma and Sampdoria. At Lazio, triumph in the cup competition would not be enough. Eriksson must win the Scudetto, and Cragnotti was going to spend whatever it took to make sure that it happened. Cragnotti embarked on a spending spree the likes of which had never been seen in Lazio before. A world record fee of 28 million euros for Christian Vieri, then won Sebastian Veron for 30 million euros, and in 2000 he spent 23 million euros on Argentine winger Claudio Lopez from Valencia, and over 56 million on centre forward Hernan Crespo from Parma to smash the record again. The chairman was brilliant. He did almost everything I asked him to do. <laughs> we bought fantastic players and we got uh, a super team. With such an array of talent in his charge, Ericsson had no excuses. Lazio and Signor Cragnotti demanded nothing less than a Scudetto. Ericsson's first season in charge ended in a disappointing seventh place finish, the worst league finish in five years. The Swede earned a reprieve due to the fact that Lazio managed to claim the Coppa Italia and reach the final of the UEFA Cup. The team had challenged for the league for the majority of the season too, with Czech midfielder Pavel Nedved and Alan Boxic from Croatia supplying the bulk of their goals. Injury limited Boxic to just three appearances in the 1998-99 campaign, but Lazio were able to rely upon the deadly duo of newly signed Christian Vieri and Marcelo Salas, who scored 27 goals between them. Ably supported by Roberto Mancini and defensive rock Alessandro Nesta, Lazio would come agonizingly close to achieving their goal. The Eagles of Lazio topped the Serie A table for most of the season, only coming unstuck in the second last game when Fiorentina held them to a draw. Lazio would finish a close second in the league, finishing with 69 points to the 70 secured by champions Milan. However, Lazio did get their hands on some silverware when they defeated Mallorca to claim the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup trophy. Lazio fans were distraught when Vieri left the team for Inter Milan in the off-season after falling out with President Cragnotti. However, their fears were unfounded, as the 43 million euro transfer fee Lazio received helped to secure the services of one Sebastian Veron, Simone Enzaghi, and the tough-tackling Diego Simeone from Inter. This trio were to have a pivotal role in what was to come. The team was further bolstered by the arrivals of the experienced Nestor Sensini from Parma and Fabrizio Ravanelli from Marseille. Ericsson could now field an impressive team. With Luca Marchegiani in goal, Sinisa Mihailovic, Giuseppe Pancaro, Alessandro Nesta and Paolo Negro in defence, Lazio would be hard to break down. In midfield, one Sebastian Veron pulled the strings, supported by Sergio Conceição, Diego Simeone and Pavel Nedved. Up front, the preferred strike force was Jose Marcelo Salas and Roberto Mancini. To add to that, Lazio probably had one of the strongest squads in Serie A, with the likes of Simone Inzaghi, Alan Boxic and Fabrizio Ravanelli in attack, Nestor Sensini and Fernando Cotto as defensive backups, and Dejan Stankovic and Matias Almeida to support the midfield. Some of these players were among the best in the world, and they were all winners. All of them. They wanted to win, they hated to lose. The 1999-2000 season marked SS Lazio's 100th in Italian football and was to prove a memorable one. The year began with a 1-0 victory over Manchester United in the UEFA Super Cup and would only get better for the club from Rome. 
Throughout the season, Lazio and Juventus battle for the top spot, with Juventus holding the upper hand for much of the time. With just eight games left in the season, Juventus enjoyed a nine-point advantage over their Roman rivals, but defeats to Lazio, Milan and Hellas Verona allowed Lazio to claw their way back into contention. It would come down to the final day of the season. Lazio would need to take care of Regina at home, whilst hoping that somehow Juventus could be defeated by a mid-table Perugia with nothing to play for. Lazio dispatched Regina 3-0 with ease, while over in Umbria, the torrential rain had been pouring, meaning that Juve's game was delayed by 80 minutes. Because they were losing 1-0, Juventus said, new game, another day, and Colina was strong. I think any other referee would have said OK to Juventus another day. Colina said, we wait. The fans of the Blue and Whites took to their radios, hoping for a miracle, and as though the deluge from above were a sign, it duly arrived. Perugia managed a 1-0 victory against Juventus, and the Scudetto was Lazio's. The final points tally showed Lazio on 72 points, just ahead of Juventus on 71, with the previous year's champions Milan well off the pace on 61 points. A Coppa Italia final victory over Inter capped off an incredible season. The first and only time that Lazio would claim the League and Cup double. Ericsson's Lazio could not repeat the feat the following year, finishing third in the league behind City rivals Roma and Juventus. They did manage to claim the pre-season Super Coppa trophy in September of 2000, but would get knocked out of both the Coppa Italia and the Champions League before the quarter-final stages. Ericsson himself was to leave before the finish of the season, becoming the England national team's first ever foreign coach when he took the post in January. Lazio have never reached the heights of that glorious 1999-2000 season since then. But their fans will never forget that year when the Eagles soared to the top of the Serie A mountain. <laughs>